Hi guys, it's Manik from EarlyLearningMom.com. Please excuse my voice. I am getting over some laryngitis, but with Easter creeping up so fast, I couldn't wait much longer to film this video. The lighting's also a little on the crummy side because I am doing it at night when, sorry kitty, when my kids are either A, not here because they're with their other parent, or B, sleeping. So in this video, I am going to show you the four Easter baskets that I made. I made one for my almost 14-year-old son. I made one for my almost 13-year-old stepdaughter. So we have two teens. And I made one Easter basket for my six, almost seven-year-old son. And I couldn't leave out my little nephew. He is turning two and um, we put together a little Easter pail for him and I wanted to share with you some things that I found for him. I'm going to give you some heads up. Three out of four of the baskets are very heavy with sugar and candy and all that fun stuff. We went to the States at the beginning of March, my mother and I, and I found all sorts of fun treats and I kind of got a little carried away. I'll be the first to admit it. Um, Z does not do well with lots of sugar. He doesn't do well with dyes. He's gluten free and dairy free. So there are candies in his baskets but they're very specific and they tend to be a little bit pricier. So he has more toys and things to do in his basket as opposed to my big kids and um, my nephew because Auntie had to get him some sweets. So just how it turned out this year. So without further ado, I'm going to share with you what I got my kids for Easter for 2019. Okay, and now this is what we got um, our six, almost seven year old son Zakari. Now some of this stuff might seem a little young, but he um, has autism, so sometimes we have to be careful with some of the things we get him. He also um, does not have um, dairy, gluten, and we also watch his dyes. So I will show you some of the items we got. Now we got a bunch of these little puppies and kittens. They were in a big set. There was a Kmart that was going out of sale in the States. It came in a big box, but it wouldn't have fit in his um, bucket. So I just pulled them all out. We also got him this water fruit bath toy little munchkins thing. This was from Dollarama. This was, I believe, from the Dollar Tree. And it's um, a little Easter Bunny ball shooter. And that's the occupational therapist recommends these. From Dollarama, we got him this light up ball. There we go. Just lights up like that. From Book Outlet, we got him the um, Ken Jennings Junior Genius Guide, which has maps, geography, I'm not sure if you can see that, um, Greek mythology, and U.S. presidents. We also got him the Cul de Sac Kids Collection 3. This is books 13 through 18. We love the Cul de Sac Kids. We also got books 19 through 24, and these were um, from Book Outlet. We got him, he loves outer space, so we got him some space socks, and this was from the Target Dollar Spot. And from the Target Dollar Spot, they have some of these learning resources um, kits, and this is Count and Add. So there's some little counters, and he loves these types of activities and we got so that was sorry the um, farm animal set and we also got him the count and add safari set and these were from the target dollar spot we also purchased um, this was from Hobby Lobby their Bernstein Bears and the Easter Story and for his treats well actually this is another um, find motor skill kind of activity. It's one of those lost kitties and you gotta find them in the putty. So we got him that. 
Um, at the bulk barn, I was able to find him an organic rosy rabbit, and this is dairy-free, gluten-free. It's also soya-free. And from Target, we found these Yum Earth organic sour beans. And we also, yeah, these are the same flavor, the organic sour beans. And finally for treats, um, just another, like a carrot size one. So kind of similar to some of the stuff that his brother gets, or not similar, brother and sister, but they look you know, in the same packaging. So he doesn't feel left out. And then finally, at Walmart, I it was Zakari loves puzzles, so we got him this Peppa Pig seven wooden puzzles. And they are, there's, do they see the pieces? Maybe on the back. Oh yes, here on the back. Sorry for the glare. There's a 16 piece, three 12 pieces, or sorry, three 12 pieces, three 16 pieces, and one 24 piece. So that is all of the stuff Zakari is going to get in his Easter bucket. And the bucket itself is from uh, Dollar Tree in the States. Okay, so this is my 13, almost 14 year old son's um, Easter basket this year. Oops, a little closer. So we got him a Okay, in these baskets there are way too much candy. I'm going to say that right out front. I had too much fun buying things from the States that we cannot get out here. So, yeah, I'm, I'm unapologetic. I will probably regret it, but I mean it only lasts. It's only going to last a little while and then we will be done with it. So we did get, um, I got the big kids deodorant a nice fluffy loofah, some of their own, um, like his own body wash, hair wash, which the cap broke off, so I'm going to have to look for that. We also got this obnoxiously large um, giant pop set. There's 15 suckers in there. Wesley requested this. He wanted an alarm clock radio. So I grabbed him that. That's from Walmart. This was from Walmart in the States. And the deodorant, body wash, and loofah were from Walmart out here. We also purchased one of those little carrots of mini robin eggs. They love robin's eggs, the Whoppers. Um, we also got double bubble eggs. More double bubble eggs, because yeah, apparently you can't have too many. Some shark socks. We got him these two books from a book outlet. He's a graphic novel kid, so we got him Mad Science, Mad Scientist Academy, The Weather Disaster, and Mad Science Academy, The Space Disaster. Oops, I'm bonking the camera apparently. We got him uh, Mr. Munchy Allen's Chocolate. Um, I usually get the kids these, or I try to. They were my favorite chocolate when I was a kid. However, um, I found these ones at Dollar Tree. I was super excited because they're usually um, a couple bucks. So to get it for $1.25 was great. We got the Hasbro's Bunny Hoppers. We got some Warheads jelly beans, some Warheads chewy bunnies. We've got some chocolate covered marshmallow eggs, some big, gigantic, big, bold bears, some Reese's um, peanut butter eggs. Gummy lifesavers, as well as these 4D, 3D delicious gummy block shapes. They're like little mini Legos. And some piano socks. And the last few things in here are Mike and Ike's. Wes loves Mike and Ike, so we got him some of those. We also got him some Starburst jelly beans 
And then just from the bulk barn, we got him a little Garbage City candy thing. Like I said, obnoxious amount of junk food. Okay, and now this is what we got my 12, almost 13 year old stepdaughter. Um, there are some, I'm putting underwear in her Easter basket this year, but I'm not going to show that on the internet. So we also have, so we have some just deodorant, just like what we got uh, Wesley. We got a loofah, but a yellow one for her. And then we got some body wash. She loves to draw and do all sorts of artsy things, so we got her some Crayola fine markers. She got a obnoxiously large sucker filled with other suckers. Some double bubble eggs. It's very similar to Wes's as well. Um, so the chocolate covered marshmallows. She got some movie theater like popcorn socks. She got the Lego gummies. The Chewy Bunny Warheads. The Mike and Ike Easter candy. She got a new pair of flip flops. A Mr. Munchy bar. A double bubble eggs package here. Some more whop some whoppers eggs. Happy Hopper candy. Like I said, obnoxious amount of candy. Uh, Life Savers Gummies. She also got a Lucky Charms Chapstick. Some Warhead Jelly Beans. Some Starburst Jelly Beans. And Reese's Pieces Eggs. And finally, a garbage can of candy. Um, the only thing that she will be getting kind of an IOU for in her bucket this year will be a bathing suit um, because I am not sure what size to buy her and I need her with me. So um, I'm not going to have a chance to get that before um, Easter. So we are just going to do that together after Easter so she'll get a little IOU. Okay, and finally, for my nephew's Easter basket, I just had so much fun putting it together, I thought I would share it with you guys. I grabbed these little eggs from um, Walmart in the States, and we put some organic gummy bear fruit snacks in there. So he got a little ducky egg and a little bunny egg. And I should mention my nephew is turning two next month. We also got him some of these little um, Sparks stacking monkeys. And these were from Walmart. And these were a cute little thing that I found at um, Dollarama. It's these little bath fruit squishy. It's just like a basket. I got Z the same thing. He is a big Paw Patrol fan, so I got him this Marshmallow Pow um, Chase Sucker Pop, and that was from Walmart in the States. I also got these Cottontail White Cheddar Cheese Balls from Walmart in the States. We got, oh, they got a little squished, but they're peeps, so it doesn't matter. We got these Blue um, Peeps Chicks as well as from Dollarama we got this light up it's kind of funny there we go light up bubble wand from Walmart in the States and I believe they have them here too at the Walmart in Canada but these little Easter dinosaur crayons and that's not it. we got just a, a little chocolate bunny and lastly, um, from Walmart in the States, we got these um, Easter Buddy uh, 
chocolate covered marshmallow eggs. And the little bucket here was um, from Walmart in the States as well.